Hey everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. S&P's hammered uh, today, and you can see here from the, essentially from this little pop up to 450, it's just been slaughtered, and we're back down here to minus 3 ATR. A lot of support here. Uh, very, very likely that we get a bit of a bounce from here, but um, and 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 likely too. This is the we're almost done with April. You know, could we get a bounce that carries into early May? But after that, I am looking for a continued rollover, uh, not only in the spiders. And the spiders are, I mean, they've had a, a deeper sell-off than a lot of people were expecting, and we'll talk about why. Uh, it's been more expected in the queues, frankly, because, you know, tech's been kind of a wreck, and that hasn't been a surprise. And in a situation like this where we have aggressive interest rate hikes, uh, the valuations of a lot of tech stocks, like Amazon being the perfect example, in an environment where there's quantitative easing and basically, you know, 10-year notes don't don't pay any return, there's a lot more people willing to take the risk of putting their money into Amazon. And, and, and by people, I don't mean, um, you know, your neighbor Joe that lives down the street and he's looking where to invest, you know, an extra 10 grand or 5 grand. I mean, uh, pension funds, you know, retirement uh, teachers funds, you know, they've got to put billions and billions of dollars to work. And if they can get a guaranteed 3% out of 10 year notes, you know, they're going to start allocating way more money into that. And so what that does is that drives the valuation down of a lot of these tech stocks. So, so you got that going, but on the, in addition to that, you've got, um, uh, the yen, um, collapsing against the dollar and so that's driving the dollar up and this is a potential disaster waiting to happen we haven't been this high uh, since about since mid 2016 and that caused a lot of angst in the markets and bigger picture here in the dollar is that we have a massive massive quarterly squeeze setting up the last time this fired you got a 20 point 20 dollar move and if that happens again this is going to cause a lot of havoc and so a lot of people ask well geez how can i play that there is an etf uh, UUP and that tracks the dollar. I think it's like a quarter of the size or something like that. And so in this case, um, you can see the move here. So it's not super exciting. So this move has gone from 24 to 27. Um, but obviously as the dollar keeps going higher, this would, uh, this would appreciate. And so that's, if you're looking for something to go long and you want to participate in that, that's a way to do it. So just keep in mind, I would, uh, you know, for tech, it is sell the rallies until further notice. Um, for the mining companies and things like that that have been hammered on, um, you know, a lot of the energy and mining companies that's, that's done well recently, they've all been hammered on the strong dollar. I do think that the dollar is going to get to the point where it pauses and we're going to have a nice bounce in these. I don't necessarily know if we're going to take out the highs, but, you know, a 50% retracement is very tradable. And uh, that's what I'm looking for there. All right, I've got some more updates in the premium video, which I'll start now. You guys have a fantastic and gals rest of your evening, and I'll see you at the next update. Hey, John here with Simple Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below and let us know what topic you want to see us cover next. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release new videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simpletrading.com and learn how to sign up. Good trading, and we'll see you next time.